What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We got Kerwit, and we're doing a mystery booster draft. And I am going to give Kerwit the mouse, and he's going to draft these packs. And then I'm, I'm going to get to play the games, and that's that's going to be fun for everybody, I'm sure. It's going to be great. Did you see my email? Um, if you're rolling to yes, and I'm also pretty sure that I did read the fanfic. And it would have been up on YouTube. Golden Goose of the Sympathy Bits. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Probably worst stipulation ever. Yeah, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It'll be funny, though. Dude, if Boros Reckoner comes up... It's going in the deck. All right, let's see. Precursor Golem. We could go for like a proliferate. Who's we, buddy? This is your draft. I'm just, I just live in it. Let's see. Look at, oh, more proliferate cards. We could do Blood Artist. Whenever Blood Artist from a creature dies. Choose any number of target creature. Use each of those creatures' games persist until end of turn. That sounds interesting. It's like Blood Artist. Yeah. Wild. Wild. Kurt's like, I'm not going to talk through my ideas here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shut up and take my money. Oh, one sympathy, sympathy for buck. the trash games, Buck. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm, I'm taking this because this oh, looks God. entertaining. Oh, God. The locks on Warhammer, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to make this easy for Frank. Clearly. Frank needs to earn it. This is I, I feel like I have to do that every single time I play Magic the Gathering. Oh, boy. Where's my Amazon package? <laughs> I got a cell phone case coming. You ever get those, like, um, Kevlar cell phone cases? Yeah, I don't. I didn't like them. No? It was too thin. I felt like it offered no protection. What are you gonna do? Jibs are important. Jibs? Yep. What does that mean? They like to cut of my jib. <laughs> you know what a jib is? Jib's a sail that goes at the front of the boat. That's not what they're talking about. Yeah, it is. At the beginning oh. of your upkeep, target put target creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. That sounds fun. That's a good one. What else we got? Greater guard down... I'm trying to find my package. Put a charge right counter on mirror and cave remove charge counter on one man of any color. That doesn't sound bad. I like it when Amazon's like, it's three stops. Away. The top four cards of your library, put two of them into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. I think I'm gonna go debtor's nail. Cause that seems ballin'. But now I can't see it, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's from any graveyard, not your own. Yeah, that's the, that's why it's a banger. It slaps. Have you tried the Tauntaun cell phone cases? No, I haven't actually. Are those new? I hear they smell worse on the inside. Yeah, see this one. Yeah, I don't like it. It offers no protection. That's the only reason I want a case is to just... Like, mostly the corners. Like, I like the TP, I like TPU cases that have, like, big, fat, rubbery corners. So, like, if I drop it, like, the corners are... Like, the phone's just not going to crack. Right? But, like, the Kevlar cases just offer no protection in that way. And so I didn't actually understand the point. We could... Because <laughs> I think phones look good in general right now. Like, I think phones, iPhones, Galaxies, like, they look good. So, if I'm not getting protection, like, I don't want to cover it. You gain one life. What were, you, what were you laughing at? This card. Destroys all uh, curses attached to you. Yeah, you know, just in case. But it also gives you hex proof. Yeah, so that's like, no, no future curses either, you know? If you have less than life and a pony, you gain six life. You control future... Cures and I gain three white soldier tokens. Diamond Mariner's Battlefield, choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell, you choose a color, you gain one. Man, I'm just taking this. 
God, I feel like I'm gonna be doing. I feel like I'm gonna be playing a, a sealed deck here. Dude, you want to gain ten life? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the last thing I want to do in limited. Whenever a crypt, especially for attack. eight mana. This sounds fun. Flying double strike. Don't forget, you might just be black right now. You don't actually have to be white necessarily because of debtor's knell. That's true. We could go skulk lifelink. Yeah, that guy's fine. Okay. Wow, he's really... I like how you got a 2-drop, 5-drop, 7-drop, 2-drop, 3-drop. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that curve. Beautiful. Yeah, if you have Blood Artist out, you can play Hexmage and sacrifice it to drain them for one. Yeah. Combo! Cumulative upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Nah. Oh, I feel like there's a good one in here. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on a Johnny Pride mate. That's I think that's definitely the pick. Two creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and flying until end of turn. That's like a poor man's a Johnny's uh, Eldrazi monument, but it's still good. I think with Blood Artist and with Far Bog Revenant, it's, uh, Johnny's Pride Mate's pretty good here. Yeah. And maybe we are black white now. Who knows? Only time will tell. I gotta bring this. I gotta bring this watch back to back to Coles to return it for Amazon. You wanna go to Coles after? Yeah, we can. We can go swing by the Coles. Society and the environment. Whoa! What? Oh, that was that was wild. What we got here? I think it's Bear's Companion, actually. Don't no, it's, it's <laughs> it is not. When you're in Relic, you may exile an artifact. This could be good. I almost kind of like Dark Blast because I think Dredging is good with Debtor's Knell. But hey, man, you're doing this draft, not me. I don't want to make it completely horrible for you. Hmm. Uh, when Battle Straits by enters the uh, battlefield, target player reveals cards from the top of the library until they reveal a land card. Put those cards in the graveyard and this will cast this creature from your hand. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until turn. And let's just take this. I think that's a solid choice. You're like, if I gotta read all this, it's probably not better than just a removal spell. Bah. No good cards ever had a lot of text on them. I think Induced Despair is way worse than Take, take Vengeance. Like, Take Vengeance kills any tapped creature, whereas Induced Despair, like, you literally have to have a creature in your hand that's big enough to kill. Till end of turn, Enchanted Swamp becomes a 2 2 creature with. Nah. 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 Counter target spell effect. Counter target. Put it away on top of its owner's library. Eh. Whatever. Yeah, I like that guy, actually. What are you gonna do? Look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. You lose two life. That sounds not bad. I agree. When shining armor in the battlefield, attach it to target knight creature you control. Meh. You gain six life. You may cycle. We got actual fog. What, renewed faith? No. Oh, actual fog. <laughs> What's heavy infantry? What's heavy infantry? Sideboard. Oh. Double click both, uh, both, hold both mouse buttons. And that guy's actually, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's the ticket. That slaps right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the slapper. Also, if that Thorn of the Black Rose or that bird comes back, that's pretty good, too. <laughs> so I posted that I posted that cardboard crack thing on Facebook, and someone's like, 
Congratulations, you have qualified for the Ultimate Super Duper Players Tour Worldly National Championship, which means you can play FNM at your local LGS. <laughs> and I responded with, but only the LGS you registered with at the beginning of this season. Remember, new seasons start every third Tuesday and every sixth Monday. So I like buying uh, pre-release packs. Uh -huh. I don't always like playing in the pre-release. Do you just like opening them? Yeah. And so sometimes, like, you'll go in, like, on the Friday. That seems interesting, but I don't know. It's not for us. We'll just select okay. it. Okay. Uh, rescue from the Underworld. And the Sacrifice card to the battlefield under your control. That seems interesting. At the beginning of the next end step. Or next upkeep. When Festering Newt dies... Target opponent gets negative one, negative one, double turn. That creature gets negative eight. Oh, we don't have Bog Witch. I think Jubilant Mascot's pretty good. Where's Jubilant Mascot? The white this one. one. Yeah. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, if you do support two, that puts one one counters? Two one one counters, yeah. Ooh, that would be good with the persist. You mean the proliferate? No, I have the. This oh, because actually, yeah, it would actually it would counter the counters. Interesting. Sacrifice a creature, scry one. Draco! Where's Draco? Oh, this? <laughs> it's, it's 16 mana. Well, actually, if we're playing Swabs and Blades, it's only 12 mana. I believe you can pay that down. <laughs> oh, man. Sacrifice an artifact or creature, draw two cards. This is the costly plunder. All right, Frank, which would you rather have? Sacrifice a creature to scry one over and over again? Or costly plunder to draw two cards? People are saying Seer. I guess it's Seer. Seer seems fine. Plus it's a one drop. You don't have any one drop. Dictative Heliod seems fantastic here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Carl's like, I'm not even looking at the rest of the pack. <laughs> what do we got? Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one. Nothing Our else is that exciting. Yeah, it's pretty Untapped bad. Untapped target creature. Prevent all damage that we dealt to it this turn. Maybe that'll wield. Oh, yeah, Seer's also nice because you have Blood Artist, so you can just sack the... Uh... If you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card... That's interesting. Draw, draw two cards. So, with with the Blood Artist, you get more. Yeah, but the, the draw card is not going to be super relevant. No. Zoom in on that. I want to see if that's all there is to it. That's, that's so much less satisfying. Flying Double Strike. Oh, 1-1? One, one? Nice. I mean, there's nothing really else happening in here. The Menace, 2-3, not really good. I'm just taking it. Really? Yes. God damn it. Enchanted Evening? Oh, God. Uh, I put any of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library draw card. 1,000 cuts can activate this turn as though it didn't, or attack as though it didn't have Defender. I mean, I wish it wasn't 5 mana. Dude, should we take the Dreadnought? <laughs> oh boy, no. No, you know we should not. Did we did we take that guy, the 2-2 two -two flying double strike guy? No. We have no double strikers. That's City Watch Sphinx. I mean, like, sometimes you just take cards that aren't... Like, none of these white cards are... Tr they're all trash. That's a 5-4 flyer, though, for only one blue. And if we have a discard outlet, we can just get it back with Debtor's Nell or something. No, you took Archive instead. <laughs> yeah, you <yeah>, friggin' <laughs> maniac. No, no, no. The, the, like, in one, like the first pack, there was a 2-2 two -two, uh, one. Yeah, my friend Josh, who owns a game store in Atlanta, I believe, he said, I know exactly. I knew exactly how professional magic worked from when I started playing in 1999 until roughly 2016. If somebody asked me how they qualify for the Pro Tour, or whatever the fuck it's called, now I'd just be like, uh, gotta have a popular Twitch stream and a funny Twitter. Probably gotta win some matches somewhere. Anyways, you got any cards you want to sell me? <laughs> oh, man. This would That one, the uh, pay three, flip a coin, you might get six. Yeah. With this would have been kind of funny. Yeah, because you're always going to only lose three, but sometimes you'll gain 12. Yeah. Take that two drop. This one? No, the actual one you can... Yeah, that guy. 
Jesus. Festering Newt came back. I'm just putting this on the sideboard. Okay. Draco came back. Take that Draco. What if we get like a discard outlet? We can play all these fat idiots and then reanimate them. All them fatty boys. <laughs> My friend Cody from Seattle, he said, they're taking their naming cues from Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Not wrong. Good times. Everything is all right. Man, I'm taking this one. Man. Gotta have them tricks. Take that two drop. I'm glad we have another pack after this, because... You don't, you don't like my deck? I love it. <laughs> it's actually not terrible. There's definitely some cards I would for sure cut. Like Elhammer and Archive. <laughs> yeah, put it down there right in the front. Look at it. Oh, I've looked at it. I mean, Bitter Revelation lets us... It doesn't even... Actually, it doesn't even trigger with Bitter Revelation because you don't draw the cards with Bitter Revelation. You put them in your hand. So we have, like... No, it's literally just a... Uh, Gain twice as much life for five mana. Get rogue. That's pretty sweet. Man, this does not have a lot of stuff. Didn't we it. already see an Alter's Reap? Maybe. I mean, I guess you can get more than one. In 1,700 cards? That seems so unlikely. Yeah. Toxin Sliver. Eh. Let's just... Why don't you just say Death Touch? Yeah. Oh, because it's a trigger. It's not Death Touch. Oh, he took it over the Kit Rock Monster. God damn. Because. <laughs> because. <laughs> I did it because. You ever, you ever cast Kit Rock Monster, man? Yeah. Used to have one. I doubt it. I don't think you ever played a game of Magic before. Yeah, probably true. Knew it. You think you know a guy and then he tells you he's never played any Magic before? What uh? What are we doing here? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Ooh, Sundial of the Infinite. Fuck, come on. <laughs> come on. Just stop it. I like Quest for the Gravelord. You don't want Ronus' Monument? I kind of like Suppression Bonds, actually, a lot. Where's Suppression Bonds? Right here. Oh, it's like a... Yeah, that sounds good. Whenever a, whenever a creature dies, you may put a quest counter on Quest for the Gravelord. Sacrifice to get a 5-5 five, five black zombie. Yeah. Uh, I it's alright. This gains your life, though. No, it doesn't. Damn it. Boo urns. I was saying boo urns. Hans Molman. He's, he's a, a hero we need. He's 33 years old. <laughs> I want to get a Hans Molman tattoo. You could. It could be gay for Mole Man. Almost chokes on a freaking gummy. Yeah, let's not take anything else with that. What else we got in here? Doesn't matter. We could draw two cards. Doesn't matter. This is definitely the second one of these. At no, least it costs similar. three. Oh, you can sack a land for that one. Uh. I like to just put in the five drop slot. You're like, yeah, you know, here, here it looks good enough. That has five symbols in its converted mana cost. In its mana cost line. I don't even think you can pay five to cast this card. No, the cheapest is six. You could cast you it could, zero. You could cycle it for... I guess that's true, but it would cost four. Yeah. And you can also cycle it for five. Get two one ones. Oh, yeah. You know, if that's if that's what you're into. Uptight. Everything is all right. <laughs> Sundial only works on your turn. It would be better if it worked on the opponent's turn. Oh, that would be that might be amazing, yeah. It would be the greatest card ever. If you control more than five land oh that's the trap card. Man, more lifelink cards. God damn. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creatures and opponent controls. Sacrifice another creature, it gets plus two plus two until end of turn. How many saprolings are we gonna be sacking? Vigilance and prowess.
You ever gained life before, man? Yeah. It's the best thing. If we can get a Felidar Guardian, that not a Felidar Guardian, a Felidar Sovereign, that'd be pretty sweet. Whenever a creature attacks, you gain one life. If that wasn't five mana, I'd actually consider it. We could take the Eldrazi Devastator. Devastrator? Devastration. <laughs> if that guy had Annihilator, I'd be I'd consider that. There are two cards in this pack that I think would be significantly better if they just had, you know, a little bit more modifications on them. That is, guy's good. I like that guy. This is going to be good with the... Uh... With the Cauldron of Souls? Yeah. No, the other one. No, not the Cauldron of Souls. What other one? Wait, which is the one that gives Persist? The yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, the one you said. Yeah. That one. I gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Sounds interesting. You love protecting your creatures. Manamorphose. Are you a Manamorphose? I am. Or are you a boy amorphos? Target face up exiled card into its owner's graveyard. Is there going to be a lot of exiling going on? No, no, I just work here. I love Academy Journey Mage, but that's not a playable card in our deck. Target player discards two cards. Whenever during Skyjack or at least two other creatures attack and start getting flying until end of turn. What's the overload? What's Mind Rake? What's, what is that? Mind Rake? What's overload again? I have no you idea. You replace target with all, all player, every player, each player discards two cards? Maybe yeah, it's that's what all it is. cards? No, 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 because you replace target with each. Oh, yeah. So everybody discards all their cards? Doesn't sound good. Or is it all opponents? No. No, it would, yeah, yeah, because, uh,. Well, that's interesting. Story creature with counter on it. With any counter on it? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's also a Hornet Sting. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the crappy red or green gut shot. I also like Life Form. Like, uh, Life Form is like a 2 2 with flying a lifelink for 3. Hmm? I'm taking this one. Really? Okay, fine. Got him. I mean, we have a Johnny Vengeance, so. Look at that creepy legs, man. Did we just see one of these? Dude, uh, I actually don't think it's each opponent, guys. Overload doesn't specifically mention opponent. Overload, the ability itself does. Like Cyclonic Rift sends re says return target non-permanent to an opponent controls to its owner's hand. Uh, and then when you when you overload, it says return each uh, non non-land permanent to its to an opponent controls to its owner's hand like uh, the, the the opponent part is not in it's not in the overload text it's in the card text like uh, typically overload cards specify the opponent in the ability because so they won't affect you when you overload them so, which is why that one's weird because it does affect you if you overload it. Yeah, I mean, it seems only like it would be Ooh, good. Gateway Plaza is real sweet. It seems like it would only be good in like a multiplayer game. Right, exactly. That's I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's hundred hundred percent for. But that's weird because it's in Modern Horizons, so it's like, well, you know, that's not a commander set. So all right, here you go. You're a true friend. <laughs> You've left me with this beautiful, beautiful thing. You could, you could still play uh, Maelstrom Archangel. Okay, I'm going to actually remove this. Boo. I actually like all those. These are fine. You're good. You're good. I'm going to board that. You're kind of poop. This is uncommon? Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, it cycles. Oh, actually, Bill's Drill Ring is fine. Farbog Revenant. Yep, you're fine. You kind of suck, I think. Center Soul. Meh. Skyjack is just strictly better than uh, Swift Claw. They're both three ones, but one has a sweet ability. You're never going to, literally never going to activate. We don't have any changelings. I don't think we have any other allies. This card's meh. Dark Blast, we can sideboard in. All right, one more cut. Oh, that guy's fine. Hmm. Is Hex Mage worth playing if we don't know if they don't have any? Uh... Yeah, that might be true. 
You gonna you gonna play Ancient Den? I don't think so. Yeah, and then it just like makes their their like main deck shatter better. <laughs> yeah, we'll go eight nine. All right, guys. Stuck okay, gateway plaza. Not in a two color deck, I don't think. I mean, there's madness stuff in this set. The true Kerwit card, Boros Reckoner for everyone. Curry of, Courier of Kerwit. 1-1 one, one for a colorless mana. You must sacrifice this card unless you sacrifice two food. Whenever this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target. Oh, man. Everybody gets food. Just gotta keep refreshing these, make sure nothing new pops up that it's, uh... No hot deals. Modern Horizons actually had about four... 40 mechanics in it so I actually wrote it down because I was going to do a whole thing on it uh, there are 43 abilities in um, in Modern Horizons Madness was actually not one of them oh wow surprisingly All right, what do we Battle got Cry, here? Buyback, Cascade, Changeling Convoke, Cycling, Dash, Delve Devour, Dredge, Echo, Entwine Evoke, Evolve, Exalted, Exploit Fateful Hour, Flashback, Hellbent Hideaway, Kicker, Level Up, Modular Monstrosity, Morbid Ninjutsu, Outlast Overload, Persist Proliferate, Rebound, Replicate, Retrace, Shroud, Snow Mana, Splice, Storm, Spend, Threshold, Undying, Unearth, Untap, and Vanishing. It didn't, like, invent any crazy new ones like Future Sight did, though. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think it was all just existing things. They just used all of them. Oh, wow. Alright, we need to swamp here. Are you ready? Swamp would go this guy into this guy. It's a banger. It, it would be balling. Swamp. That's five drop. It's kind of like a swamp. Similar. Similar. It's basically the same thing. OP is killing himself. Well, they lightning bolted our Johnny's pride mate, so that's fun. It's uh, it's not a. It's actually not a swamp there. I'm gonna. Yeah, get him. That one keeps damaging him, so <laughs> right. leave that one to play. I'm just checking, man. I'm just checking my options here. Yeah, take your stupid damage. Oh, man, it had to work. Now it's a new draft. What a world we live in. I know, right? What a time to be alive. Yeah, uh, Duranzo Blint, like anything that has the snow type generates snow mana, even if it's a creature. Yes, any, any, any mana a snow permanent generates is snow mana. It's very elegant that way, actually. I kind of like that. Because it doesn't have to say this is snow mana. It's just like, hey, you got a creature? Is it a snow creature? It makes snow mana. Snow mana to me. You know what I mean? Got him. It was. It was It was, It was. was mediocre. Whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter. At the beginning of your free comment. Sure, that seems terrible. Oh my god, who cares? Get him. I wish this guy had vigilance. Yeah. Because then I could start... Whamming him with the with the dictate, and I could be like, "How's that dictate?" This is like the perfect counter for that, because uh, it doesn't actually kill it. Right, it just keeps it alive. <laughs> so now in fifteen turns, they're basically dead. Did you hear my how's, how's that dictate joke? No, I did not. I mean, I made it. Sounds good. I'll catch it on the replay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when when I upload this tonight, he's tagging can... again. This is wild. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a trick. Oh, oh my god, if they have a trick? Yes. Oh, this is just... You got him. This is, a, this is what's known as a two-for-one in the in the biz. How's that dictate? <laughs> was that the joke? It was It was the same, yeah. No. Oh, this is good. So what's our hand? Five, two five drops. No, okay. Three black cards. No, okay. Sounds good. Seems... Glad I went from from ten seven to nine eight here. If uh, if you get another white man, you could play a dictate of Heliod, or a Cauldron of Souls. That's true. If I get another any color man, I can do that. Well, they didn't do anything, so that's good. Hey, yay! We can play now. Game over. Hmm. 
Okay, you know what? I'll just let him take one, and I'm going to play Cauldron of Solis. Blam. Millions of peaches. Dude, you could have given his vampire them. lacerator a... Uh, a laceration? Given it uh What is this? I thought it was Boris Reckoner for a second. <laughs> Boy. I would have been like, oh my god. When we cast a white spell, gain three. When we cast a red spell, it deals three to my face. <whistles> Does this fly? Without without looking at its text box, would you say this flies? No. Really? Maybe. I don't know. It's got no legs. So it's not... Uh... <laughs> I have no legs. Oh, man. Now we can just go ham with that Grix Grixis slave driver, and every time it dies, we can just give it persist? We can actually viscera sear. Oh, my God. Sack it. Give it persist. <laughs> That's a combo. Plus, it's going to... It would dictate the counter doesn't even really matter because we're... We can play Dictate and Seer next turn? Oh, that seems... Dude, if we get more black mana, you can... Oh, I guess you can't do it multiple times. Because you can only tap the cauldron once. Maybe you can. I can tap it as much as I want. I do what I feel like. I do what I want. Don't play black cards in your white deck. That's fair. Are you playing a non-basic? I'm not, actually. Buddy, we're running seven. the full 17 basics. Millions of... I bet he's not going to target his own. Does he know that you can uh, basically bring all your creatures back? Oh, he just did it all to you? Yeah, he just went face. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Well, I'm not playing that. It's actually less bold because all they have to do is cast one red spell and we die. True. Oh... Oh boy. I'm doing nothing like of that. Maybe attack. Five, six, seven. We can deal nine with Dictate. I mean, they have one card in hand. They might not have a red spell. It's true. You're not going to attack with the... Uh... No, I don't want to lose blockers. I'm just like in a real conservative mood right now. I think I kind of have to play this, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, boy. Show me a red spell. I mean, don't really. Don't have a red spell. This is not... Why is he slow rolling us? I don't know. He just got to really just literally cast it. Well, we ain't dead. Sure, you got it. I'll go to one. And then I'll gain three and go to four. And then I'll be outside the realm of whatever you're going to do to me. What did they take? They took Bitter Revelation. Oh, well. <laughs> that I'm, I'm we not going to cast that anyway. <laughs> so you know what? Not happening. Let's play Viscera Serial. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is actually lethal, but they have to block, but it doesn't matter because they can just block here and take four, five, six, and seven. And if they actually nine. kill your creature, you can bring it back in with Persist. They have no cards in hand, so I don't think that's what's going to happen. Are they going to block? They're not going to block. Well, being at four is nice, because I don't think there's anything they can really do here. We can also just, like, give all the give this guy persist, sack it, block, gain True. two more. Oh, what up, Sammy boy? Scoop! God, our deck is OP. Who drafted this, this beautiful piece of work? Some maniac. Some absolute scrub. But sometimes, you get lucky. Scrub is the guy who can't win no games from me. Vampire Hexmage actually doesn't seem terrible. What were they playing with counters? Nothing, but they have like a bunch of two twos. Mm. It's probably just better than the three one, right? Like, remember when he picked that Celestial Flare? I do, and I was like, "Wow, Kurtwood, that was terrible." <laughs> what are you thinking? 
And then he was like, I figured it's going to win us some games. And I was like, wow. What a wizard. Uh, I'm the opposite of Mike B. I have no birthdays. Is that true? Yeah, it's never my birthday. Ooh, we got all the colors of mana this time. Unfortunately. Well, actually, Take Vengeance is decent. Followed by Bitter Rev. Happy Death Day, Kerwit. Oh, God. Does that mean he's going to die today? Guys, we're probably going to order from one of two restaurants tonight that we haven't tried before. One is called Betola Bistro. Looks pretty good. And one is called Odyssey, Italian restaurant. That second one seems kind of sketchy. What? Like, look, at they don't know how to take pictures and, like, compensate well, this, for these light. Are, these are not... These are customer pictures, not... Not restaurant pictures. And also, the red is... You know what? <laughs> I don't think that affects the food quality. Oh, look, a six drop. Goes well with our four or five. Maybe they'll make us discard it and we can play it for four. Try out Tom's Bistro. You know what? I don't actually live near Pawnee, unfortunately. It only gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Yeah. Is that not good enough for you? No. T typical millennial. I'm pretty sus of an Italian restaurant with a Greek name. Oh, boy. That's a good point. Well, it has four and a half stars out of 909 reviews. Also, I'm very curious about the, the Google reviews. Sometimes I like to compare them both. I am kind of sus about a restaurant that serves food out of chafing dishes. Actually, 4.7 on Google out of 942 reviews. So, that's just fine. You gonna it, click OK? No, I'm gonna sit here and and play this game at my own gosh dang <laughs> pace. Punch burger. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. oh, nice. I'm just gonna kill it. They, this guy has not survived for more than one turn. Well, I mean, if that thing stayed in play, it'd be ridiculous. Well, now I'll kill your guy too. Got him. See how you like it. Got him. Gotti. Scrub is a guy who can get no. Why do I have scrub stuck in my head? I don't know. Okay, you... we take two, right? Put two of them in your hand and the rest into the grave. Put them in the grave. Put them in your hand. I actually like Scrounger. Three, four lifelink seems great against them. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the land. Accomplice seems f kind of meh. I'll take the mascot, sure. I mean, Accomplice also does something in the graveyard, so it's kind of like we drew three cards. True. What is this thing? 3-2 with haste? Sure. I'll go to eight, and I'll play this big fucking long arm weirdo. And I guess hope they can't kill it, or else we die. Yeah, we'd be bones then. That would be not ideal. How far are you from Pawnee National Grassland? Probably pretty far. Is that where the burger place is? Actually, this looks this looks really nice. I actually don't know how far I am from this. Look, oh. so like on here, there's a... He's attacking. Well, I mean, I'm 100% blocking. Think, I, think I he's got a trick? One. No yeah. trick! Even if they might have, they're just going to lightning bolt it or something. That's fine, we got slave drivers still. Old Slavey D. Yeah, sure. That's fine. That's a good, uh, good thing to suck up a collector of brutality. <laughs> Slavey D. Next time we have seven, so we can play mascot and then support immediately. Bam. It's power and tough sequence number of cards in the chosen player's graveyard. Oh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Sure. I'm not going to just take a million from this guy. Did they choose me? That's interesting. Because now I can just shrink it. Oh. We mill a card. Never mind. Well, it's still kind of shrunk. <laughs> Whenever the chosen player comes to the player, they mill one. Okay, sure. I mean, I'll still double block. I don't even care. That'll get him. I'll get him. Dang. Good thing that other creature's not either red, white, or black. You'll or get red. caught up in the bale fire. Ooh, blood artist. Six, seven, eight. 
This one cost nine. 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 Um, so this guy's gonna get two more counters if we. I think we mill the planes. Yeah, we did. It's the most recent card in our graveyard. Um, it's gonna become an eight-eight if we play two spells. But these guys are gonna be like ten total, so I think we just play both. Mill to Farbog Revenant. Yeah, we're just gonna play Dictate this turn. Next turn, play Mas uh, Activate Mascot. My head is before the graveyard. What is this? It's a common pile driver. What is this art? That's wild. Yep, go to four. They have no other goblins, though, so... Nothing, huh? Okay. Well, I'm definitely just still playing this. Cool. I did not want to draw that. <laughs> that might have helped us out. Oh, wow. Huh. Six, seven, eight, nine... Yep, that's pretty good. Have yet to use this, but eventually I'm sure we'll... Oh, we can also start pulling guys from our graveyard to shrink this. True. Oh, we can also pull Anger out. Mm -hmm. And then Anger's a 4-4 four, four for us. That seems real sweet. Okay, so I think we're just winning this game. What else we got? No. Um, Pride mate. I mean, this guy's this guy's like a five six and life link. Yeah, that's the relevant part. Yeah, that seems fine. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. This is gonna be gonna be close. Hope he doesn't draw any red spells. Oh, what's going on here? They're just gonna roiling fire us and kill us. Yeah, of course. Boo. Yeah, fucking why wouldn't they top deck that when we have we'll finally draw six life link? Yeah, sure, sure. Seems great. Uh, to the surprise of no one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, that was super obnoxious top deck. Okay. Who doesn't keep two land? Five drop, six drop, seven drop, double black card. Mm. Seems like it's going to get the job done. Immediately gets crawled up in the crossfire. That was two sneezes, but technically it's one sneeze per, per YouTube video. So. Oh, 100. Sammy, thank you for the bits again, buddy. Really appreciate you. 100 bless you bits. Oh, it's that thing again. Otherwise known as your boy. It's your boy. This is so... This is just like a terrible... Yeah. But what are you going to do? Like, I just... They're never going to have a worse... Cre <laughs> Christ. I love Magic the Gathering so much. Magic the Gathering, where you only get to play half the games... Oh, yeah. Let's see how long this guy lives. He has a one-turn... Uh... Yep, here we go. Yep, there it is. Every game. Seems good. A Johnny's pride mate should just read target player discards, discards one burn spell. <laughs> yep, cool. Now we can cycle Decree of Justice. For zero, yeah. 
yep, this is a fun match. I had a really good time. They top decked the exact X mana burn spell that they needed to. Yeah, fucking cool hand. Um, and then we don't get to hit lands. So, you know, the best player definitely won. Uh, it was a, definitely a game of skill. Hey, look. Both colors. Yeah, still two lands. Also, I love having as many 5-plus drops as I do lands in my opening hand when there's like 3 of these and 17 of these. The statistics really... Checks, totally checks out. It's getting there. Yeah. We do a little, do a little Justin? Yeah. Any day now. He's probably also looking up watches. <laughs> I'm not looking them up. I'm just refreshing the pages that I already have open to see if there's any updates. Oh. This is where the magic happens. If by magic you mean getting mana screwed and... Losing to the resource system. Hey, if they try and uh, destroy that creature, you can scry one. He's probably talking to his friend Chumbo. Who the fuck is Chumbo? <laughs> I don't actually remember where that came from. That's hilarious, though. Chumbo and Jimulum. Wow, that's amazing. What about Chubulum? Chubulum? Yep. I think you just made that up. Or Jimulub? Remember that time we hit our third land? No. Me, me neither. Mm. Doesn't. I guess it doesn't matter. That was. What? <laughs> cool. What? <laughs> I don't. Why did that happen? Oh God. He scooped the whole match. Yeah. What? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jumbo <laughs> is Nelly's name for Kevin in the office. Oh man. Fucking Nelly, dude. My grandpa died of chubulum. Did he really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. You, you don't come back from chubulum. That's like jimulum and chumbo combined, isn't it? Yeah. Is there a concede match button? I don't know if there is. I think you can concede from the... Kim yeah. Possible, thank you so much for the resub. Dropping off my prime, Hope you. I hope you're doing well. I appreciate your prime. Just dropping off the primes at the pool. What'd you say to me, Kermit? Shut I don't up remember. and take my money. Oh, okay. Two thousand two hundred and one? Come on guys. Two ten is bad. <laughs> Music Manly, you are a hero among men. I'm a fan of your existence and your support. Even if your grandfather also has chubulum. Oh, good luck. One land. Let's mull it. Oh, all right. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. It's our Drana. Yeah, we haven't drawn that once yet, so that's nice to see. Yeah, I'm the only one who can make you watch a, a stream of this fantastic trading arm. That's a hell of a compliment. But also, I don't know what else I was going to say there, so. What are you doing, man? You texting your dad? Yeah. Tell him I said hey. Tell him I hope Ms. Chubulum's not acting up. He's not going to tell him. No. If we play Cauldron of Souls first, then we play Drana, then they have to deal with Drana, Drana twice. Oh, <laughs> that's two sneezes. Oh, sorry, not on Twitch that Shut often. I usually just watch on YouTube. Chubulum. One dollar. I do not approve of this usage of my name. You'll hear from my lawyer. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. 
Oh, dollar seventy-two. Just disrupting the round numbers. Have fun, you guys. I I really wonder what Kurt was doing on his phone that whole time, and then he put it down, and then uh, Chubbylum donated, and the timing is suspicious. But not suspicious at all. I don't I don't have any proof, so it's really hard to prove. What are they playing here? Something good? No. Rocks War Monk? God, I love Rocks War Monk. It's one three. Was that? I don't even care about that. That don't impress me much. How did this guy win a match? <laughs> well, we don't know. He did yet. We could have just been poorly, uh, poorly paired. You know what I mean? Dude, are you gonna go Cavern of Souls into Drana? Yeah, that's. I said I was gonna do that. Why? Are you, why do you have to be like this? I like taking credit for everything. God. What is this? Two, three? I don't care about that. I'll take one. Donnie Bank would like to know how you like this format. Shut up and take my money. I think it's all right. Music mainly is sent to my... Kerwood, I know it was... <laughs> I know it was you. Oh, actually, do I just play... No, because we want to get this down, right? Oh, if we give this guy persist, you know what happens? Mm-hmm. He makes another call. Imagine we get the, uh, the guy that lets us sack creatures to scry. I think the format's all right so far. I'm still learning it, and I'm gonna give it the same leeway that I gave Modern Cube, where I like didn't like it at first, but then I kind of, it kind of grew on me as soon as I started learning it more. But like, it feels like too much of a regular draft. Like I wish I had more fixing in it. To be honest with you, it feels more like a regular draft format than a than a cube format. That don't impress me. Music Manly, I appreciate you, buddy. Dude, you just took three. I don't even care. This is what you're going to do? You're going to search for basic land? Get wrecked. Oh my god, who cares? That's Peter Griffin. You guys know Peter Griffin? <laughs> you know that guy? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to lead with Drana. I kind of just want to put this out in case they got like counterspell. Yeah, do it. Let's see what you got. Show me what you've got. And then if they like attack... You can block with it. But they won't even know what's up. They're about to get wrecked. I hope so. How's the chicken this Sunday? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's also Kerwit's birthday today. Guys, can we get some happy birthdays in the chat for Kerwit? I thought we discussed that it was never my birthday. It's Kerwit's death day today, guys. That's can right. we get some happy death days in the chat? Can we get some Fs? Shut <laughs> up and take my can mind. we get some Fs in the chat for Kerwit? Oh, Peter Griffin doesn't like round numbers. This is a an amazing gift. <laughs> 156. Just one F, that's it. Oh, oh, two F's. Are. There we go. They're coming. There's a lot Ooh. of F's. And that asterisk snuck in there. No, they multiplied the F's. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, look at this fat idiot. Oh, that's going to get wrecked. Is it? Yeah, because you got that destroy target tap creature. Well, it's not tapped yet, though. It'll get tapped. God, I, I, I should, one should hope, you know. Dude, if that card was an instant, it would be... Very better? Yeah. Well. Significantly better. You know, if Drana was a flash creature... That had indestructible, she'd also be better. So, yeah, food for thought. I mean, just gang block it and then give them all persist. I don't want to waste my persist, though. You know what I mean? Because you only get one. Yeah. Because then they got the counter, so it doesn't matter. Would you rather have a death day or an unbirthday? But I mean, you can give any num target number of creatures persist. We, what do you mean? I know. Yeah. But once she has a negative one, negative counter, persist isn't going to do it again. No. So she's only, you can only persist her once. Unless you put the, uh, did you put the Vampire Hex Mage in? No. It's still on the sideboard. This is game one, so. You didn't answer. Would you rather have a death day or an unbirthday? 
Uh, both? I guess unbirthday. Oh, what is this? Crib swap. Our one weakness. That's really obnoxious. The boo urns. That's the biggest boo urns I've ever experienced. Can we tap it somehow and then destroy no, it? No, I would fucking wish we could. Tap it. <laughs> Can we make this an instant along with also <laughs> tapping it at instant speed? Ooh, it you gets know. vigilant because it's also a golem. That's something. Oh, look, it's Frosty the Frost Lynx. Oh, man, if only we had taken that card that lets us return creatures from exile. <laughs> Pull from a turn. It would go to the graveyard, though. But it would be back. <laughs> you know, I guess you're right. I guess you've really... Yeah, it's true. With Pull from Eternity, we could get it back with Debtor's Nail. Touche. Touche, as the kids say. Alright, we're taking six here. And then we're killing it forever. Little do they know. It's about to get wrecked. They have no idea. <sighs> I'm so tired of all these lands. We could have destroyed our own... Uh... Our own sensor splicer? Yeah. That seems worse. It would come back into play and then just die again. But yeah. at least it would re-enter the battlefield. That's true. You still get that trig. That big trig, as the kids say. A little triggy. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Arid, ancient, and verdant. Recruiter of the guard. He's about to recruit. I mean, sometimes you recruit, you know? What are you going to do? Have the touch. He's so cool. Give me your heart. Make it real. What do you think he's going to get with his recruiter? I don't know. Something stupid, I bet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh... Grizzly bears. <laughs> like grizzly bears. What did he get? Enlightened. Oh, it destroys an enchantment. They know these are artifacts, right? Does he have any enchantments? No. <laughs> yeah, like, is he trying to kill his own enchantment? Hold on one second, guys. I'm just finishing this thing, because... Alright. Done. Let's make sure everything's okay. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, cool. I mean, none of these creatures have any good attacks, so... And... Okay. Sure, get your get your three your three dingle dingle hoppers. Get them dingleberries. That's a different that's a totally different thing. No, it isn't. You don't think so, huh? You can have a dingle hopper dingleberry. Hmm. Well I'm just gonna keep this. Cause I don't care about any of these creatures that they have. And then we're gonna pass, because really You don't you don't want to attack with your uh, splicer? <laughs> I I don't, because then they take one. I think it's a much better blocker. Was wondering if you had any tips on side decking. How can you really have tips for something that doesn't exist, you know? That's the the question we ask ourselves. Ooh. You play Glittering Wish, you can get cards out of your side deck. I don't like you. I don't like anybody. You can you put you can take them out of your side deck and put them in your main board. It's a lot of pain I'm feeling at this <laughs> particular moment. Hmm. 
wonder what uh, the opponent's game plan is. His deck doesn't seem to be doing anything. They play another planes? They played a forest, so now we still only have two planes and a enlightened ascetic. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It doesn't give the other creatures flying, huh? It does not. That would be friggin' bananas. <laughs> that would probably be rare. He should attack into our creatures. I've seen this list before. Oh my god. I want to vomit. Can I get like a bitter ordeal or a debtor's knell or something that would really turn this game around? God, can you imagine if they didn't have Crypt Swap for Drana? Yeah, it'd be we'd be just like owning them right now. It'd be a totally different game. We'd be blowing up their face. That's all I want to do is blow up people's faces. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that there was a commemorative coin for friggin' uh, Trump defeats COVID. Like, but if you buy one of those and then he dies from COVID, then god damn, what a that's a collector's item right there. Can you imagine the irony? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just take one. Oh, we haven't shuffled our deck at all. That's really frustrating that Nell is the bottom. Oh, oh boy. So we need four naturally. One, two, three, four, fours, or do we make seven, one, ones? I would say the flying are the one one they don't fly. I would I would get the flying ones. It's gotta be the flying ones, right? What yeah. if they have a counter spell? Mm. You didn't think about that, did you, smart guy? No, I didn't. <laughs> and what if we draw a dictate? Then dictate's real good with seven one ones. That is true. Ugh. Uh. I think with two blue... Well, we know two of the cards in their hand, I think. Well, yeah, obviously the soldiers. Not, you're not casting them either. You're just cycling, so... <sighs> yeah, let's cycle it. The sad thing is I think three 4-4 four, four angels will definitely win the game quicker, but the problem is I don't trust that they don't have something that can deal with that. Maybe they tap out. If they tap out, I'll just I'll be like, all right, let's untap and slam it. <laughs> See, I'm tempted to block this guy, but like, he's just gonna put that thing on another creature. Well, then, like, I don't want them to draw a the card. Really, is what it comes down to. I just don't. Oh, that thing draws him cards when it dies. Oh. I would just say keep taking one. We well, only got so many ones left, but... Nine. What? Nine. Nine ones. <laughs> Specifically nine. Tap out, tap out. Sure. So we still know these two? Did they play planes this turn? No. That's interesting. Alright, I'm doing it. Cycle it. What? Oh, Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I flipped. I, I saw you, you're like, oh, no. Okay. You know what? I don't care about this. He can there untap you. it seven times. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is literally the best thing <laughs> wow. you could have gotten. Wow. I'm going to play this first as a little bait. Oh my god, are they taking the bait? No. Maybe. But they paused. Which makes me uncomfortable. Hmm. So what do we have? We have seven mana. This is four, so we have three left. Ooh, this guy can also get rid of uh, negative one negative tokens. Oh, that's combo-licious.
Yeah, I'm just gonna use this for now. Like, we're in no rush. And, like, Dictate's a pretty big, like, swing card. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I... Yeah, this is also a Battle Bond card, so it's, like, kind of hard to, to, to assume, like, they know what it is. Oh, he scooped. Wow, we didn't even have to play Dictate? I couldn't even be like, yo, how'd I Dictate? I don't know if that's... I don't know what their deck does. We've seen, like, nothing. I think we're just submitting. I don't... I don't... Uh -huh. <laughs> Shokan the <laughs> No, this is a Kintaro is like a Goro. I don't remember that guy. What's this guy's race? Shokan. You can Shokan these nuts. <laughs> He's right. You can. Shokan these nuts. The delivery is excellent. It really is. Oh man, sometimes Mike comes out of nowhere with these fucking bangers. I'm just gonna post that in our group and be like, yo, never forget. I like to let the thumbnail load. I guess we're not gonna I'm not gonna wait around for that. Maybe this opponent will scoop too, and then we can uh, we can have two matches that we only played one. Oh wait, this is match three. We won the. F what did you say? This is match three. Yeah. Because the second player, the second round didn't want to play, and the first round yeah. didn't want to give us lands. Imagine you like had three opponents who just like scooped out. That would be a terrible draft, right? You'd just be like, but, but why? You win with a 3-0-3-0? Three -oh, three -oh. And you literally have, like, you played not even one... Uh. I wonder if they, like, scoop, like... I guess, like, they, it, you would win the first match if they scoop that way. Well, yeah, you'd win, right? Like, yeah. There's no way for you to get a zero games. No, whoever, like, someone has to concede. Yeah. Band on the run. You know that, you know, Band on the Run by Wings? It's not the monkeys. Oh, God. You Gen Xers. You know the monkeys didn't write their own songs. <laughs> Are you telling me Davy Jones is a liar? The monkeys were about rebellion, Frank. Hey, hey. We're the monkeys. Hey, look, they got a double strike guy. Oh, that's true. Like, since we didn't show them dictate, they could board out the, the guy that kills an enchantment. That's hilarious. I, I don't... Yeah, I'll choose your guys. No, I'm not going to do that. That's really sad that I have to choose a target every time. Uh, I will not block your 1-1 one, one double striker. What if you get a guy with first, first strike? Or what if first strike stacked? Well, that could be good next turn. Uh, still no. Boy, I wish I had a creature to put some counters on. Yeah, that'd be good. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Whose Tournament Is It Anyway? Where everything is made up every month and nobody can understand a thing without a crystal ball. Yeah, that sounds about right. Firstest strike. Yeah, but I struck even firstest, so... You, th you think they'll ever bring last strike? 
No, because it doesn't even make any sense. Well, they had it in that uh, unglue or unset. Really? Yeah. It was like a combat phase that happened after uh, regular damage. That's Yeah, but uh, okay, so I think you've just explained already why it's not going to be a thing. <laughs> and they actually had a guy with triple strike. These require new phases and time zones. Zero strike. Attack? No, I'm good. Nah, bro. That ain't me. Marsh McFlatums. Oh, no. No, don't like that. Are they missing a land drop, though? Oh, yeah. No? Mm? Yes? Uh. No. Uh. What a god dang tease. Or five? I mean, we're just chump blocking here. I can't afford to take another thousand damage. Yeah, it's not going well. You ain't kidding. Ooh. Okay. Well, next time we can play this guy and keep up Celestial Flare. Boom. That'll teach him. Do you think so? Yeah. The hell was that? Alexa, stop! What? Alexa, stop! That was extremely weird. <laughs> God, smart homes be acting weird, dude. Just thought we needed to hit some, uh, some fly jams. Apparently. Oh, look, they changelinged my guy. Because, of Ooh. course, they have it all. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Sure. Oh, sweet. That guy's got infect. <laughs> That's actually good for us right now. <laughs> Comically enough. Why would you play one guy with infect? I don't know, because YOLO? YOLO! Actually, two lifelink creatures is pretty decent here. What is this? Oh, he's drawing three, uh... Three planes? Get sure. them planes. Get them. Dude, how much was that Ancestral Recall? Uh, it is out of stock currently, unfortunately. I'm just picking up cube cards, so... You can ring my bell. Go ahead and ring it. We're just jumping here, obviously. I don't like attacking with that one one makes no sense. Like use it for blocking. Well, they can't block though, you know. Oh, it can't block. No, because it can't. Be, can't. Oh, I guess it can block. Fascinating. Dole out some negative one, negative one token. So three, four, five, six. This is nine damage. How much life do we gain? Nine. nine? Yeah. That's not bad. No, that's enough. God, I'm still worried about counter. They might just have green cards in hand, though. It's true. That wall's about to get wrecked. Oof. Oof. That was a banger. You gonna destroy a tap creature? No, I'm gonna make them sack an attacking or blocking creature. Fine. <laughs> Similar but different. I wonder if he only attacks with... Nah, he's going to go both. Whoop, 
I mean, we're at a very healthy life total now because we just attacked with a 5 6 and a 4 3. Yeah. And if he, like, alphas, then we can do it again. We can do it Ooh, again. Oh, they didn't even attack? That's actually really good for us because this guy's a terrible blocker. Yeah, I'm just attacking here. So 4 3. This is this, this actually block and kill, but then, like. But you can make him sack one of them. Right, but if he has if he blocks with this guy too, they're just gonna sack this guy. Mm -hmm. I just attack here. Yeah, this guy just seems fine. Um. Yeah. Okay. They. Oh, that was. Mm, that's <laughs> unfortunate. Look, like, what's what's going on here? Oh boy. wrapped up in what's he doing something coming oh that thing oh actually I done messed up oh I did not. I had it in there already. Bam. Maybe okay. he'll like only attack with that. That would be sweet if that's what he did. That would be b bananas. B b b b bananas. Oh wow! Please. Yes. Get wrecked. Some say the perfect crime does not exist. I mean, Bessel's color is still real scary on the double strike guy, unfortunately. Yeah. We don't have the Eldrazi Monument, right? That was a different deck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. That's weird. Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, so we can still play. Hold on one second. Uh, yep, okay. Seems good. I'm just passing here. <laughs> I have no reason to throw away one of these guys. This is also a 6-6 six, six now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He should scoop now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. I mean, I actually don't know how they deal with Drana. If they don't have an answer for Drana. Here comes they go become immense and like some other card. All right, I'm a two infect. They didn't move it over either. <laughs> Pride mate. Negative one. Not sure I understand, but all right. Settle the wreckage. Does five damage to attacking or blocking? Okay. Why is he doing that one? That's the only one I can kill. Oh, right. There's about six toughness. It was like, ugh. Either way. That was not ideal still. Now Johnny's Prime, it's a 5-5. Five, five. It could have been a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> could have been a contender. I think we're in good shape here. I'm no expert. I don't know. Maybe he can wear you down with the uh, poison tokens. You know, Maybe. Boom! Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash recordmanagers.com. Coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. NordVPN.org. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and congrats on Kerwit for drafting a 2-1 deck with a sick cauldron thing. We almost got 3 off. if that guy hadn't had rolling... Uh... Yeah, if they just didn't burn our face. Yeah. And we would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling red cards. We'll see you next time.